So ever since I bought this truck, it came with these um, Tacoma all I'm all weather floor mats. I think these are OEM ones, um, but with them being I think six years old, seven years old, original to the truck, they're getting. I think the heat has really gotten to them, and they're literally like flaring up and everything like that. So today we're gonna replace that, make this look a lot nicer, and actually function the way it's supposed to is like if you spill water or anything like that it's just going to go right under the mat and as you can see there's a bunch of stuff underneath it and i don't move these at all so and today we're going to be putting in these 3d mats these 3d mats are really nice i have them in my corolla i also had them in my camry as well and they were holding up fantastic so and these are a really nice fit for those cars so they're all custom fit with their 3d scanning technology or whatever and these come with like a a really nice looking like carbon fiber material so it's not carbon fiber but it looks like it has like that carbon fiber weave to it so but yeah we're gonna throw these into the tacoma um give it a good upgrade on the floor mats and get rid of those crappy old ones so first we're gonna take those old ones out and then give it a quick vacuum so and you guys can see too on the driver's side it's doing the same exact thing um it does they do work most of the way but this lip here is kind of aggravating so time to get rid of the old ones and put in the new ones Alright guys, so I got the truck all vacuumed out pretty good. Now we're gonna throw in our first mat. Oh yeah, that fits a lot better. So one thing I like about these, so this rib goes over this, so it doesn't have room to actually fall in there. So when the door's closed and everything, it's like pretty much a weather seal. Um, so that way if you do spill any liquids or whatever, it'll stay all contained inside of here. Dang, and whoever owned this before me must have had like a husky or something because there's so much dog hair in this car. And this is already the second time I vacuumed it in like a month since we've owned it. But yeah, it looks good. Let's feel this off. So now let's go throw in the passenger or the driver's side and then the rear seat. All right, and the driver's side one um, has these little hooks that you gotta line up and then they'll snap into place. And what's nice about these mats is like they cover so much more area. Like they cover up the foot rest, they cover up a lot more area so that way way less dirt can get inside here and to be honest this side fits like a million times better than that side and that side already fit really good i think that side just needs to be like worn in just a little bit but i mean it really fits good and then this side fits even nicer so i think having this compression here with these little clips probably helps a lot and if the passenger side had it it would probably help it a lot too so but, and they also include some covers, so let me go grab those real quick. So, these covers right here, it looks like they give you some extra ones. Um, they literally just push onto these. So, let me see. So, I'd imagine that you want to line up, there's two sides here, you want to line them up the opposite side. They don't fit as tight as I thought they Oh, well, I guess they do. So, I mean, you kind of really got to pull up onto it to get it off. 
Ah, see that side snapped in better. But yeah, there you go. So that way no liquids can get underneath at all, which is really nice about that. All right, so hopping in the back seat now, we're gonna throw in this back one. And what's nice too about this is it's a one piece unit. I know on some mats, there are two pieces in the back, which kind of defeats the purpose of like weatherproofing the center. Well, and I do have to say these actually fit like, I thought the Corollas fit really good, but these fit so much nicer, so, I mean, and they even go under the, the seat, like, I don't know, probably like a good four inches or something like that, so, but it fits really good around the center console, and it goes underneath these little, like, metal brackets, and again, it goes over the lip, too, so, and also, I was messing with the front one. I got the front one to also fit better too. I think I just didn't have it pushed to the side the right way. So but yeah, these things actually look really nice. Um, one other question I wanted to ask you guys, um, on the Tacoma, I mean, I've owned this for about a month now and I noticed when you're running the AC and you're driving for like 30 plus minutes, I start getting water dripping down here like on the passenger side. And I tried to look it up. It does seem like it is a common issue, but no one has came up with a fix yet. If you guys have a fix or anything like that, just let me know down below, because I would like to fix it. It's not a big deal, especially having mats like this, and it's not a lot of water either, but if there is a fix, I would like to know. And something else too I noticed on the packing slip, these mats are only for 2016 and 2017. I don't know, did they change anything on the 2018s and up? I thought that it was still the third gen, unless they changed a little bit up on the seating or something like that. But that's very interesting. I never knew. So I thought 2016 and up were all the same um, third gen, and I wouldn't expect them to change anything inside the car. But I know they've changed the lights up and stuff, but I don't know. Let me know down below um, if you have a newer Tacoma and are the seats slightly in different locations or something like that. video if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to the channel smash that like button and i'll see you guys next time